you know, cheap electronics from China are really great, like this power uh, DC module with a USB power jack as well, on-off switch, different um, connections, really great for breadboard projects. However, don't be surprised when some of this stuff is a little bent or even cracked on occasion. And this on-off switch on this module is cracked. Yeah, super glue is great, but man, it, it dries up real quick. No matter how tightly I put that cap back on, when I go back to use it, like I probably haven't used this in a year or so, this container, but that's why it pays, I think, just to buy the cheap dollar store super glue because... You know, you're going to use it anyway. It seems to be better like a one application kind of thing, super glue. So here's a DC jack on this battery pack here. Very convenient, especially for that power uh, module that I uh, just showed on the breadboard. And this one just has leads coming out of it, positive and negative. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a USB adapter for that so that we can plug this uh, battery pack into the power module on the breadboard. Now, this is an old mini USB cable that is not working well. Uh, must be shorted out somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off and find the positive and negative leads and solder it onto the wires here. All right, so having snipped this, I think that the red lead is probably positive, but I'm not totally sure. It's got a green lead there as well. And I'm gonna take care not to touch the wires as I do this. All right, sure enough, that red lead is positive. And those of you who solder know that you heat up the part of metal that you're gonna solder, not the solder itself. Get that nice and hot, and we're going to apply a bead of solder right in there. And I'll wrap those leads with electrical tape. Moment of truth with the USB connector battery pack plugged into our power module here on the breadboard. Power's up.